Hello everyone, welcome back. In this PowerPoint tutorial, we are going to learn how to insert the logos in each of these slides at once. So basically many times, say for example, you are preparing the slides, you would like to insert the school logo or the company logo in the PowerPoint slides. I want to update all of those slides that you have prepared all at once. So it is absolutely simple to do that. Basically what you have to do is, for example, I'm at the home. I need to go to the view, right? So select any of the slide, go to the view and you will see the slide master, right? So slide master, what exactly it is? It is the master slides control the look of your entire presentation, right? So this is what your entire presentation is controlled by. You can update the colors, font, background effects and everything, right? So absolutely anything that you want to do all at once in all the slides, you can control with the slide master. So click on slide master and it will open the slide master right so any so even if you're using the if you're not using any of the themes as such right so say for example there are many themes that are available office themes so you can pick any of those but even if you're just using a blank layout you will see that there are certain layouts already in the slide master right so you'll see this is the master okay and then these are the layouts that are available there so it has the footer it has the date it has the page number right etc and then these are the child layouts that are available in the slide master now if i have to insert something here in this particular master layout then all of the pages that you will use or the it doesn't matter which layout you, ch you choose in this particular presentation it will be reflected everywhere let's see let's add the logo first okay so what you have in order to add a logo click on this slide master slide here and then click on insert and as we use to insert the picture so basically we'll go to pictures from this device and then i'll add the logo i'll pick the logo here and i'll click on insert and now you will see the logo has been inserted across all these layouts right all of the layout that are there so if i move this particular logo so move this logo to wherever you want to place it okay and you can resize the logo simply by you know hovering over when this arrow appears left click and then then drag and drop the mouse accordingly to resize this particular logo so say for example i'm happy with this size i'll simply drag and drop if you want to you know drag or not convenient or not comfortable with any of the mouse functions so you can highlight and use the arrow keys to so for example i'm using the down arrow and you will see that the logo moves accordingly so you can basically then style your logo and position it specifically where you want okay so now this is the position that i want my logo in now if i now close this view okay so i will close this view and you will see the logo has appeared on all of these four slides that are there okay now if i'll go ahead and i say new slide you will see the logo appears on the new slide as well okay so this is how you are going to insert logo all at once now say for example if i go back here and go to the mark uh, go to the master slide so i'll go to view and go to slide master and i want to basically you'll see these are different layouts below that right so i want to change something or the background as well so i'll simply select the master layout okay and then i'll simply right click click on the format background and it will open the format background window here on the right hand side and you can choose different options here so gradient fill picture or texture pattern fill right and you can choose different patterns there okay so say for example i want to have a texture fill or just a solid fill in all the slides so i'll simply choose the color from this color picker here and i can choose the color that i want to fill in in all the slides okay so this is how all the slides will be basically having the logo and the background color now if i want to put a picture there okay so if i select a picture i want to put the background picture in all the slides okay so let me show you this first if i close this master view you will see the background has been there now in the background many times you would need to insert a picture in all the slides okay same thing we have to go to view slide master and select 
the main slide here and you can right click here itself and click on format background or you can cl click on the slide and click on format background same window will open so in the picture or texture you have to insert a picture okay so simply click on insert and then you can insert the picture from a particular file which is on your local computer stock images online pictures right so i can go ahead and search for the stock images or the online pictures right so or i can go ahead and say yeah i want to insert this particular picture from my desktop into as a background and you will see it has been applied in all the slides there okay if i want to pick the online or stock images i can select click on stock images and let's say i want to have this particular picture okay click on insert and all of the slides have that particular picture background okay and then here you can see that you can adjust the transparency as well okay if you want you know less transparency you can move the slider and the transparency will be adjusted as well if you close this master view click on close the master view you will see all of the slides will have that picture background okay so this is how easy it is to basically insert the logo change the background of all the slides or add the picture background in all the slides of your powerpoint presentation the other important thing that i want to cover here is if we go to master slide again okay and i go to the master layout okay so click on the master layout now in the master layout you can change how or what all placeholders are there or should be there okay so for example i do not want footer or the slide number right so you simply uncheck the slide number and this section here the slide number will be removed you'll see that that has been removed so this is about updating any of the common details or the root level details that are there in the master configuration okay so apart from logo slide background photo background you can also change the master layout or the placeholders that are available on the master layout okay now other thing is if say for example for this particular layout right so if i right click you will see that you have different options here so you can see that you have the um, slide master or or the insert layout right so if i click on insert layout you will see another layout will get inserted right and these layouts you can use in your slides okay so now for a particular layout if say for example i want a different design or i do not want this background in this particular layout okay so what i can do is i can select just this particular layout okay right click and click on format background and for this particular layout i want a solid fill okay and i want a yellow color for it so it's highly visible all right so now this is the layout that have been um, chosen okay and this is custom layout and this is if you hover over you will see that it is not used by any slides so what i'll do is i'll rename this layout okay and i'll say this is rcv academy layout say for example okay i'm just giving it a name there i have renamed it okay and now let me close this master view so now if i want to add that particular layout which has a different color okay so i can simply right click anywhere in the left hand side and go to layout and you'll see the layout that i have just saved with the background that i want is available there i can go ahead and select it right and you will see that it has been applied on this particular slide if i want to add a new slide okay i simply add a new slide and you will see that the layout the same layout that has been chosen previously has been is been applicable right so there are many layouts that are available in master slide and within those layouts you can do specific changes if you do not want the logo on a particular slide you go to that particular layout right simply right click or select any of the slide go to view go to the master slide slide master and in a particular layout whatever changes you are looking for right so you can go ahead and do those changes okay so for example here i'll go to this particular slide and if say for example i do not want this logo appearing here simply click on hide background graphics right so it will hide that particular logo on just this slide in this layout whenever you use this layout in your slides and a logo won't appear this particular background will appear so you can basically go ahead play around and customize at any level that you want in your powerpoint 
okay so that's all for this particular tutorial on how to insert a logo in all the slides change the background all at once in powerpoint change the background to picture or to remove the logo and background or change the background on a particular slide in your powerpoint presentation deck so i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching